kids, put up Steve here. And boy, I'm super excited today because we got the complete set of Funko's second line of cereals. Oh man, we've got six different cereals to make up this complete set. Ah yes, and we've got some awesome cereals this time around. We've got Cuphead Double Cereal, Batman Cereal, and even Beetlejuice Cereal. Oh man, this is great. Well, let's just go ahead and start with the Beetlejuice Cereal. Yeah. And oh man, I can't believe they made a Beetlejuice cereal. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Look, we have Beetlejuice right there. Well, the pop version of him anyway. And look at this, he's sitting over his green cereal. <laughs> oh man, it's green just like his crazy hair. Oh, I love it. And of course, inside each one of these boxes, we get a minifigure of the guy that's represented on the box. So in this box, we get a little minifigure of Beetlejuice. Ah, oh, perfect. And as you can see here, this is a box lunch exclusive. Turn to the side here, we see all the side art. Turn to the back, we see a green maze on the back here. And, well, nothing left to do but open this thing up. <laughs> all right. And once we get ourselves a cereal bowl here, we can start with the porins. Oh man, just look how green that cereal looks. Oh, I love it. And this is an awesome looking cereal. I love that shade of green. I just wonder if it tastes good. Mmm, yep. Tastes good too. And of course, if you're wondering what it tastes like, it's just like uh, Fruit Loops. And this cereal's so good that even Beetlejuice could be proud of this one. Ooh, all right. I love me some good cereal. Om, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, Beetlejuice. Hey, this stuff is so good, I think I'll feed it to my pet sandworm. Sandworm? Yep, sandworm. Nom, 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 now, just in case you're wondering, yep, we have gotten a green cereal in the past with the Golem cereal. And if you're wondering if it's the same color, well, yes it is. Ha, look at that, perfect match. The only difference is that this cereal comes with a little minifigure of Beetlejuice inside. So let's go find that next. Take this out of here and find our minifigure. Oh man, check him out way down there. Oh yeah. And already I can see that crazy green hair on him. Well, I can tell this is gonna be a great figure. And, oh, look at this. Ha, oh, there's good old Beetlejuice. Boy, that looks just like him, I love it. He's got the crazy hair and the purple around his eyes and the outfit, gotta love that, just like it is from the show. For being so small, the detail on this guy looks amazing. Especially if you put him next to all the other figures we opened up in the first set. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, we're doing pretty good, Beetlejuice. Oh, that's perfect. Can you say my name two more times though? Hey, don't do it. Uh, why not? Just don't do it. Oh, come on guys, don't ruin this for me. Ha <sighs> <laughs> oh, that crazy Beetlejuice. All right, next up is the Pennywise cereal from It. Oh man, and this is a super cool box that we ended up getting a little bit earlier than everyone else. And just look at the box itself. We have little Pennywise hovering over his cereal like he's gonna destroy it or something. Ha <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love that. And just look at the logo, ooh neat. Pennywise with the little balloon that says it underneath it. Ah, oh, cool. Gotta love that too. And of course, we've got that logo here that says tasty treat, fun to eat. And under that, we have, ooh, yep, it's a Hot Topic exclusive available only this month at Hot Topic. All right, and underneath that, we have, ooh, cool, the little prize inside. And we see it's a mini little Pennywise figure. Ah, oh, gotta love that. And then, of course, ooh, look at the back of the box. It's kind of shaded, if you can see that in the camera there. It's kind of shaded like a, uh, a clown outfit. On the side here, we have all the ingredients. So if you like to see that, there it is. Ooh. And then on the other side, oh, cool. We have all the typical artwork you'd come to expect to see on the side of the box. <laughs> oh, you got the character up here, the logo down there. And yep, just makes for a nice display when you have a bunch of them. But if you think that's cool, look at that back of the box. Ooh, it's a blood red maze that you have to finish. Oh, yes. But enough of my jabber jawing. Let's open up the top here and get inside this cereal and see what it looks like. All right, time to get my blood red handled scissors <laughs> to open this crazy looking cereal. All right, get my bowl here so we can commence with the pouring. Ooh, yeah. Oh, cool, look at this cereal. <laughs> it's blood red like old Pennywise himself. Yeah, I wonder what it tastes like. Mm. And just like the other cereals, it kind of tastes like Fruit Loops. Well, well, this is some interesting looking cereal. I wonder if I'll have some for myself. <laughs> Pennywise, you better not be thinking about taking my cereal. 
Oh, why would I do a thing like that, Puppet Steve? Because you still owe me 20 bucks from last week. I, uh, I gotta go. Blah. Darn you, Pennywise. That guy in that Pennywise always trying to take my cereal, especially when it's so good. Mmm, I love it. Now, even though this cereal's blood red, this isn't the first time we've got red cereal from Funko. Cause this red cereal also comes in the Cuphead box, the Jason Voorhees box, as well as the Freddy Krueger box. And if you're wondering if it's the same color, well, let's find out. Yep, looks the same to me. <laughs> so, if you have one of these other boxes, well, you're not missing much. You're just getting different artwork that says Pennywise on it. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the cereal, let's pull this out of here and look at the prize. And ooh, look at old Pennywise down there. <laughs> ah, we get a little mini figure of Pennywise as the prize. And, oh, cool, look at that. Time to get out my uh, blood red scissors again to get this little guy out of here. <laughs> oh, yes. And just look at the little figure of Pennywise. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable, look at that. Oh, he's so little. Oh, I love it. The detail on this little guy is amazing. Look at that. He's holding a little balloon. He's got his little outfit on. Even in the back, eh, we can even see the roughages in his outfit. And the best part is he stands all by himself, which a lot of the minifigures don't do well. No, we need his, uh, hey, wait a minute. Where'd that balloon come from? Hey kid, you want a balloon? Uh, no. Pennywise, are you trying to trick little kids again? Uh, no. Don't gun that Pennywise. Ha, he's such a character. Now, as I was saying, this Pennywise here fits right in with all the other little minifigures that come packaged in all the other Funko boxes. Alright, we see that we have a nice little collection going here. <laughs> ah, good old Pennywise. I think he's the tallest out of all of them, too. Boy, I gotta say that Funko's done it again with an amazing box. We got blood red cereal and a little minifigure of Pennywise. <laughs> Who's, uh, actually looks cute. I'm not sure how they did that, but, yep, there he is. All you have to do now is try to keep your cereal away from old Pennywise because he just loves this stuff. You bet I do. <laughs> Pennywise, where are you taking all my cereal? Um, actually, I'm taking this to my sick old grandmother. Sick old grandmother? Wait a minute, you have a sick grandmother? Yes, I do. <laughs> ah, darn you, Pennywise. All right, up next is a Cuphead cereal, which is now based on the devil. And if you want to get a box for your very own, well, as you can see right here, it's a GameStop exclusive, meaning you can only find it at GameStop. And of course, when it comes to Cuphead, we just love all the bad guys in the game because they're super original and awesome. So it's kind of cool that the devil now has his own cereal. So here we have the old Cuphead and Mugman cereal, which was red in color. And this one, oh man, it's going to be black in color because of course the devil is black and well, he's associated with the dark underworld. <laughs> all right, well, let's check out the box itself. Uh, of course, it still says Cuphead, so we know he's associated with Cuphead. And underneath that says, don't deal with the devil. Oh, man, and of course, this cereal has the devil as the mascot. Right here, it says it's a GameStop exclusive. And, ooh, look, there's a little minifigure inside of the devil, too. Oh, man, we'll get to that in a little bit. But on the side here, we have the side art. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> with the devil eating his own cereal. Cool. And on the back, oh, wow, that's the first time I think we've gotten a black maze. Yep, on the Cuphead one, it's light blue, and on this one, it's black. Okay, and then, yep, nothing new there. And let's see, the Cuphead logo on the bottom. All right, now that we've seen all that, it's time to dig into the cereal! <laughs> and as you can see inside, <laughs> oh man, the cereal's all black? Oh man, cool. I can't wait to pour me a bowl of these things. <laughs> yeah. All right, time to get my bowl out here and commence with the pouring. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that! Look how black that cereal is! Oh, gross! <laughs> looks like charcoal in a bowl! Oh, that's amazing! Hope it doesn't taste as weird as it looks! Hmm, you know what? Tastes just like the other cereal, which is almost exactly like Fruit Loops! Oh man, I'm just glad it doesn't taste like charcoal! Hmm, that's some good black cereal! <laughs> In fact, this cereal is so weird and interesting, I wonder what the devil thinks about it. Are you kidding? I love this. In fact, I'm gonna start making up some salt contracts so I can sell it. <laughs> a devil cereal? Now that is great. It's about time us bad guys get some cereal around here. 
Yeah, tell me about it. This cereal's awesome. Why, thank you, fellas. This cereal's great if I do say so myself. Oh, yeah, and if this cereal sells great, maybe I can get myself some Purple King Dice cereal. Ha <laughs> ha. And if that sells well, then maybe Funko will make some Cadney Carnation cereal. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, come on, fellas. We're focusing on me this episode. So be gone, you guys. Cagney Carnation cereal. Ha! <laughs> in his dreams. Well, I gotta say, I've seen a lot of cereals in my time, but never have I seen any black cereal. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. So this is a first. Not even Count Chocula is that dark and creepy. It's a good breakfast cereal for humans, but I think it's pretty deadly to, uh, Cupheads and Mugmen's. What? Yeah, right. I can eat this and nothing will happen. <laughs> Oh no, Mugman! He died! <laughs> oh, poor Mugman. All right, so now that we've looked at this crazy looking cereal, it's time to find that little mini figure inside. Ah, oh, yes. So let's see. Pull out the bag, and look at the bottom of the box, and, ooh, there he is. <laughs> look at that devil weight down there. All right, you get out. And once getting this out of the little baggie here, we have our, ha, our little devil figure. Oh man, check that guy out. Ha! Ah, he's got the huge horns in front, he's standing on little chips, he's got a pitchfork, and even a tail? Wow, that is a lot of detail for one small figure. I wonder how they did all that. In fact, this little guy right here looks almost identical to his pop figure counterpart. I mean, look at that. Ha, ah, yes! All right, well, there we have it, the Cuphead Devil cereal, which is, well, probably one of the craziest cereals we've gotten so far out of the Funko lineup. I can't believe they actually made a black cereal, but heh, it looks kind of cool. All right, next we have some Batman cereal, courtesy of Entertainment Earth, which means you can only purchase these at entertainmentearth.com. So if you want some for your very own, make sure you check them out. But oh man, this is great. This is part of the second series of cereals to come out of Funko. Now over at Entertainment Earth, they've got both Batman cereals, which is Batman and Batgirl. Oh, cool. I just checked this super cool stuff out. Let's see, Batman, we've got the Batman pop right here. Tasty treat, fun to eat. Yep, we've got the Entertainment Earth logo. And oh neat, there's a Batman inside. Oh, I love it. And blue cereal, oh, perfect. Let's see, we've got the Batman on the side here. We've got a blue puzzle on back. Let's see on the bottom. Cool, we got the Batman logo, the DC logo, and the Warner Brothers logo. Holy cow, how many people were associated with making this dream come true? <laughs> oh man, let's open this thing up and see what we have inside. Ooh, look at that, look how blue that cereal is. That's a fancy looking color of blue. <laughs> All right, well let's cut this open so we can pour us a bowl of Batman cereal. All right, get my bowl ready, and commence the pouring! Ooh, look at that! Oh, blue Batman cereal! Ah, yes! Got my Batman packaging with my Batman cereal! Wonder how it tastes. Mmm! It's just like Fruit Loops! Ha! <laughs> just like the other ones! And of course, this isn't the first time we've gotten blue cereal, because we've also gotten blue cereal with the Mega Man cereal! And let's see if it's the same color. Yep, wow, same exact color, actually! Ha! <laughs> oh man! Imagine that. And speaking of blue, they also came out with a super cool Funko Pop figure, which is Batman, the 8-bit version, exclusive also at Entertainment Earth. Aw, oh, cool, a blue Batman to go along with their blue cereal. <laughs> oh, super cool. Look at that. Oh, he's all pixelated with, oh, yeah, the cape, purple cape, and the purple outfit. Oh, I love it. There you go, blue Batman. Go nuts. Oh, yes, I love Batman cereal. Come here, you! Ah! Nom, 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 nom. Boy, this stuff tastes fantastic! <laughs> oh, Batman, you're making a mess! Ugh. Now, if you're sitting there wondering why Batman's all blue and purple here, well, that's because that's exactly how he appeared in the NES game of Batman! And yep, this was a crazy game where Batman appeared all blue and purple. I'm not really sure why, but of course, with this super cool exclusive figure, he reflects those colors. And, wow, they did a great job on him, too. <laughs> oh, man, what a super cool Batman. That looks just like he does in the video game. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the cereal, let's take a look for the prize. All right, so let's pull the cereal out of here. And, ooh, there he is, way down there. Oh, cool. There's Batman. Get out of here. Let's cut open this little baggie here and uh, get this guy out. <laughs> and there we have 
the little Batman. Oh, cool, look at him. And for being so small, boy, he's got a lot of detail. Look at that. We've got the logo on his chest. He's actually holding something. Oh, yeah, that's a Batarang. Oh, cool. How'd they make that so small? For being such a small figure, I can't believe how much detail they put on this guy. I wonder if his head swivels. Nope, that's the only thing it doesn't do, but other than that, it's pretty darn cool. Yeah, but can he crime fight like me? What are you talking about? Of course I can. <sighs> oh, no, it's Killer Croc. Killer Croc? I'll take care of this guy. Oh, no, you won't, Batman. <laughs> I'll take care of you with one blow. Hiya! Oh! Jimmy. Oh, wow, you did it. That was pretty cool. Yep, see, told you. Nice going, kid. Boy, talk about a low blow. <laughs> All right, next up is the Batgirl cereal. Oh, neat. This comes with a little figure, too. Oh, I love it. But here we have Batgirl on the front. Neat. This is also an Entertainment Earth exclusive on the side. Super cool artwork. We got a purple maze on the back of this box. And let's see. Yep, on the bottom, we have the same logos. Super cool. And... Oh, neat, look, this time we get purple cereal. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. Ugh, now this box is a little bit tougher to open. Not sure why. Probably a different kind of glue they're using. Come on out of there, I want to see that purple cereal. Ooh, look at that. Well, that's an interesting shade of purple for sure. In fact, out of all these cereals we've reviewed so far, this is the first one we've had that's purple. Ah, cool. Boy, I can't wait to pour a bowl of these. So let's cut this open. Get a bowl of this started. All right, time to commence the pouring. Ooh, look at that. We've got our purple Batgirl cereal. Oh, I love it. Perfect. And what's even cooler is that Entertainment Earth also has another 8-bit figure of the Batgirl. Oh, check that out. And wow, this looks great. No, she's not purple and blue, but she's blue and gray. It looks super cool. Oh, man. What a great looking figure. Courtesy of Entertainment Earth. I wonder if she's going to jump in her cereal, too. Oh, please. I do have manners. I'm a lady after all. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. But, well, she does look super cool because she looks just like she does in the box there. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Well, anyway, speaking of figures, there's one in the bottom of this box. So let's pull this bag out of here. And let's see, where is she? Oh, there she is, way down there. Oh, man, look at that. Super cute and tiny, too. Let's open this up and pull out old Batgirl. Aw. Now, of course, she doesn't stand too well, so we had to put some putty on her feet. But as you can see, another highly detailed-looking figure. We've got eyelashes on her face, and she's got her hands at her side with the Bat logo on her chest. Aw, perfect. It's amazing that they get those little details on such a small little figure. Aw, yes. Put her next to Batman, and well, they look great together. And these guys even look great when you start putting them next to the other figures found in these boxes. Oh man, what a great lineup. Oh my gosh, it's the Joker. I'm sorry, the who? Take this, Joker. hi -ya! <laughs> I've defeated the Joker. Uh, Batgirl, I don't think that's the Joker. Uh, it wasn't? Ha <laughs> ha, silly girl. Oh, Batgirl, that's Pennywise, not the Joker. But he is a bad guy, so he deserved it anyway. Hey, that's not a nice thing to say. Oh, quiet, you. Yeah. All right, and the last cereal we have here is the good old Huckleberry Hound cereal, which is found only at the Funko Shop. Oh, cool. And inside this, we get a figure of old Huckleberry Hound himself. All right, so if we turn to the side, we get that classic logo. We get a blue maze on the back, gobbledygook on the side, and, well, good old Huckleberry Hound standing over his blue cereal. How blue, you ask? Well... Looks just as blue as the Batman cereal. Ha! All right, so let's pour this into a bowl. And yep, <laughs> ah, the figure came out with this one. Ah, oh, man, crazy huck. All right, so let's taste this one. Mm, this tastes pretty good too. Yep, this cereal's pretty much the exact same as the Batman cereal, so we don't have to look into that too much. But I wanna look at this awesome looking minifigure because he looks great. Ha! And look at old Huckleberry Hound! Aw, oh, man! Here's a classic cartoon character that I just love seeing in mini pop form. He's got that cute little expression on his face. He's got the little hat. Aw, oh, it's such a cute little doggy. I love it! 
Oh man, once we put old Huckleberry Hound next to the other figures, ha, we got a nice little collection going here. Hi hey, fellas, have any of you seen my spiffy duds? Uh, no, but can you say my name three times? Well, gosh, I guess I could. Don't do it! Oh, come on, guys! Uh... Alright, kids, with that, we finish our review of Funko's second series of cereals.